Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm only going over the five teams that I think could potentially cause an upset at this year's 2023 World Cup of Darts. So if you guys have any opinions on this or you want to write your five maybe underdogs or five people who you think who could do um, slightly better than, than, than expected, I guess, let me know in the comment section below. That'd be amazing. Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Let's get into this. And actually, I did lie. I have six teams, but five is better for the title. Anyway, let's get into it. So we have the obviouses. We have the teams that are going to do well because they got great players and it's kind of obvious. So let's just go through those quickly. We have Australia, which is Damon Hetter and Simon Whitlock. It doesn't matter how what Simon Whitlock's form's looking like. He is going to turn up because it's Australia. He's going to turn up. He always does. He's won it before with Damon Hetter as well. And I think this is a good pairing and they're going to do well. Hetter is good anyway, isn't he? He's just so consistent at the moment. That's going to be a good pairing. Next up, we have the Belgian team, which is Dimitri Vandenberg and Kim Hyrex. Now, Kim Hyrex has recently had a good run of, run of form. Dimitri Vandenberg's in the Premier League. You can't really argue with that. They're going to be a good pairing. They're going to be a good team. And they, 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 they do well together. I'll tell you what, I hope we get some more Bora interviews because because they were hilarious. Like, I don't particularly find Dimitri or Kim that funny alone, but when they're together, I think they're really funny. So I hope they win just for some Borat in interviews and stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go research it. It's properly worth a watch. It's hilarious. Next up, we have the England team, Michael Smith and Rob Cross. Well, it's the world champion and a former world champion. And what can you say? I think I would have, I think, sorry, Rob, I think I would have preferred to have seen it Michael Smith and uh, and Luke Luke Humphreys, but at the same time, Rob Cross, you can't, you can't complain with Rob Cross. It's going to be a good pairing. I hope they gel together and I hope they do well. And I think if they do kind of like find a good rhythm with each other, I think this is a potential winner, like a proper potential winner. I think this is like one of maybe two or three teams that I think could, could win this one. Um, next up, we have got obviously the Netherlands team, Michael Van Gerwen and Danny Noppert. One of the people in the Netherlands team is Michael Van Gerwen. So you can't really... Michael Van Gerwen could play with me and we'd do well. Like, it's Michael Van Gerwen. So Danny Noppet is a good pairing for him. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe next year when it's him and Dirk. I think like, it, that could be a little bit different. It could it'd be very, very high um, high energy, to be fair. But I think I think Danny Noppet's playing all right. He's playing not too bad. Not as good as he was maybe last year, but it's a good pairing. And they're going to they're gonna do well, aren't they? they? They can't not do well. It's Michael Van Gogh and Donny, Danny Noppet. Next up, we've got the Scotland team. Peter Wright and Gary Anderson. Again, just two legends. Two absolute legends of darts. As long as they gel well, which they seem to do normally, and they've won it before, they're going to do well. It's Gary Anson and Peter Wright. You just can't argue with that. Next up, we have the Wales team. This is Gohan Price and Johnny Clayton. Obviously, they're going to do well, probably. It's the only pairing in the World Cup this year that has two members from the Premier League of darts as well, which is interesting. No, no other teams have two Premier League players from this year. It's only the uh, the Wales team because like there was no Rob Cross at the Premier League, no Kim Hybrix at the Premier League, no Danny Noppet at the Premier League. So it's only them. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, Wales team, probably clear favourites, but yeah, they're, they're going to do well, aren't they? And the last team is going to be the Germany team. I think a lot of people will probably put these in the in the mid-tier, maybe, but I think what, what benefits the Germany team is that they both seem to perform well, both being Gabriel Clemens and Martin Schindler. They both seem to perform well in front of a home crowd, and guess where the World Cup of Darts is? It's in Germany. So I'm backing them to do well, potential winner, we'll see. But let's get on to my five, well, actually six teams that I think could potentially do some bits or cause some upsets or at least play beyond their expected abilities at this year's World Cup. And let's start it off with Team Canada, Matt Campbell and Jeff Smith. As far as form goes, they're both doing really well. They both had a good week at the N New York tournament that happened last week or the week before, whenever it was. And um, they, they're, they're, they're both on good form. They're both playing well and I think they could definitely cause some upsets. So I'm looking forward to, I think the draw comes out today. I might even be out by the time you're watching this video, but I'm looking forward to seeing who they draw again because that's going to be a tough matchup and yeah team canada two nice guys you just you just can't dislike them really can you i'm looking forward to seeing how they get on but anyway next up we've got the czech republic adam gavlaus and carl sedlacek now two good players of course there's not really going to be any countries that have two bad players they're all going to be good players but i feel like this team is going to perform well to 
together. Uh, I don't know what it is about the pairing, but I feel like this is a really, really strong pairing for, for the Czech Republic. Adam Gavlaus does wear his heart on his sleeve all the time. He's very, he gets very, very into the games, and I feel like that's just going to propel them on. I think if they're playing well, they're going to be tough to beat because they're going to feed off each other really well and they're going to perform really well. And you've got, you've kind of got the Adam side, which is like bit pumped up, bit crazy maybe you could say um and loves to cheer and then you've got Sedacek who seems to be quite quiet and just kind of like does his thing I think it's a good pairing I think it's a good personality pairing as well for a game of darts so I'm looking forward to seeing how they get on next up I have got Team France we've got Tybo Tricol and Jake Slabre probably said both their names wrong I do apologize I don't really watch darts on like the streaming and stuff so i don't know how to pronounce either of their names but i've given it a go strong pairing i think that they both could have got a tour card at, at, at the beginning of this year uh, i think most people were surprised that tricol didn't get a tour card or tricol sorry whatever his name is didn't get a tour card but he was kind of expected to be the one guy to get a tour card out of the two french players but it was actually labre who got the tour card this year but Either way, both good players, both going to be tough to beat, and I think they could potentially do some bits in this tournament. Next up, we've got the Philippines. Christian Perez, who got a tour card at the start of this year, and also Lawrence Lagan. Now, I feel like this is going to be kind of similar to how the Czech Republic are going to play their games. You've got Lawrence, who is, again, a bit like an Adam Gavlaus, just a little bit older than him. Uh, who is going to be hyped up, he's going to be hitting big shots, he's going to be giving it some, and then you've also got the cool customer who is in Christian Perez, who I know we've not seen loads of him on TV and stuff, but the times that I've watched him play before, he does seem like quite a chill person, so you've got that dynamic together again, Lawrence being a bit, bit crazy, Perez being a little bit like more chill and of course just being from the Philippines they're going to be in their heads thinking right we can potentially put darts on a map in our country we can do this we can do that and it's going to be one of those teams I think where they're really going to be playing for their own country and this, not really playing for themselves they're going to be playing for the whole country of the Philippines and I feel like that's going to pull them through that's going to do some some good for them I feel like, feel like that sort of mentality is going to benefit this team but next up we have Team Poland. We have Krzysztof Ratajski and Krzysztof Kaczuk. Two Krzysztofs, both good players. I feel like Ratajski has come into a, a sort of a spell of form recently where he's kind of got out of... He went for a little bit of a, a little bit of a dull patch where he wasn't really doing loads, but at the moment I feel like he's playing all right. I feel like he's doing some good, some good bits. And I'm looking forward to seeing how these two get on because you've got... Ratajski, who's going to sort of set the pace of the game. Again, he is quite animated when he gets a good out shot and stuff, but he also stays calm when he needs to stay calm. And I feel like Ratajski is going to be a really, really good pairs partner to have. And then Kachuk is also a good, he's a good player. You can't deny he's not a good player. I feel like this is going to be one of those teams that could potentially just like go and do a semi final or something. Um, as long as Ratajski plays well and as long as Kachuk can kind of like keep up with Ratajski as best as he can, I know he's more than capable. He's had a tour card for a few years. Very good player. But Poland. I'm looking forward to seeing Poland. I think out of everyone in the whole World Cup, the Poland team is the team I'm probably going to be keeping my eye on the most. But yeah, Poland. They're going to do, hopefully, pretty good. And last but not least, we have Team Switzerland. Now, this comprises of Stefan Belmont and Marcel Walpen. Sorry if I said your name wrong, Marcel. Um, this team, I think, is, is this kind of like my sixth out of the five that I want to mention, but I do think that people should keep their eye on this team. Uh, Stefan Belmont plays Challenge Tour, good player, and Marcel Welpen. When I went to Switzerland and played over there, I managed to watch him a few times and chalk a few of his games. Very solid player. Very, very solid player. I'm looking forward to seeing how they get on. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to be the best outsider out of like the top five or six who's going to perform the best? Now, there are obviously a load of teams like the Irish teams that I kind of haven't mentioned here. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.